Hi, I'm Melissa Winters and I'm here at the Paducah Quilt Week with Janet Stone who won second place in our Small Wall Quilts Home Machine category. Congratulations. Thank you. So this is number 13 out of 26 mm -hmm. and you named it F because of your love of sheep. So yes, I collect sheep. Mm -hmm. And so how did you get so creative with the name and what is the name? Uh, it is a letter bit of Baltimore. You have to say it like that. <laughs> Um, I, it was kind of um, patterned after Baltimore album quilts. I always have liked Baltimore album quilts, and so this is sort of my rendition of a Baltimore album quilt. And, I, and when I decided to make it, it was just like the Baltimore, the Baltimore just sort of came to me. So I thought, <laughs> I'll just have to add some sheep and call it that. So, and so you, you definitely did that. Now, you're making 26, mm -hmm. um, but you're not necessarily making it one for each letter. No, it, they all have the whole alphabet in them. I'm just making them, you know, as, as they go. I'll, I'll make 26 all together, for, one for the whole alphabet, but yeah, they all have the alphabet in them. And these are all original designs. They are. Mm -hmm. So how do you come up with 26 different original well, designs, and how did you come <laughs> up with this Baltimore one? Well, like I say, I, I kind of um, kind of patterned this after Baltimore album quilts. It's obviously not as intricate as mm -hmm. Baltimore album quilts, but it's about as intricate as I can get with Baltimore album style quilts. <laughs> sure. Um, I had the idea to do the center um, panel because um, I had to get 26 in here, and obviously 26 won't fit uh, evenly. So um, I live in a three-story townhouse, so I like to pretend that that's my three-story townhouse with the big sheep out in the front yard, which is not real, but <laughs> <laughs> It is in my dreams. Hey, why <laughs> so. not? We all ha should have dreams. Yeah. The top's pretty pretty elaborate, mm -hmm. and not you don't necessarily always see uh, tops that are different shapes. Both yeah. of them are all. So how did you decide? Well, I drew. I start out with my patterns. I draw them all on um, graph paper mm -hmm. um, with just pencil, and that was the way I drew it out. When I started to construct it, um, the, actually the first show it was ever in there was nothing behind it to keep it up and it kind of wanted to flop over so I thought oh, I'm going to have to fix that. So I ended up, um, when it came home from that show, I, uh, my husband actually had some like those twist ties, those plastic twist mm -hmm. tie things in the basement and I said well let me have some of those and so I hand covered those with the same fabric that's on the back and then hand couched them on to hold it up. They're like little, there's like three of them in the back of, of that part up there that holds it up and it worked really well. So, yeah. yeah, you would never know that yeah. you're trying to hide something that yeah. needs to stay up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. um, and your border, that's pretty unique with the border. You have the scalloped almost kind of like, you know, the red, white, and blue ribbon that you see out mm -hmm. on the Patriotic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you, you've you always put stars in your quilts. Mm -hmm. I, I know. <laughs> I have a thing for stars. Stars in the alphabet. Yeah, you know, sheep every now and then. <laughs> I'm getting predictable, aren't I? <laughs> uh, but we always, always like to see your quilts, so they're always oh, a lot of fun. Now, you always, uh, you do um, raw edge applique. Uh-huh, yes. Um, and you also do the buttonhole stitch around. Blanket stitch, uh-huh. Blanket mm -hmm. stitch. Um, how, do you do freehand home uh quilting or yeah. do you come up with a design and mark it? Or? Um, I try not to mark as much as possible because I just don't like to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can get by with um, free hand in it, I'll do that. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I marked some of this, the grid I obviously had to mark. Mm -hmm. um, but I quilt on a Janome um, sewing machine. Okay. I love it. And um, uh, I've tried, <laughs> people have been trying to get me to get a long arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother beast. So, yeah, and I'm learn. happy. I'm happy doing what I'm doing with the with my sewing machine. So it works for me. Any tips or tricks? I love Janome's um, free motion foot because it doesn't hop. It oh, okay. they have a foot that you can just adjust up and down. It just kind of hovers over the surface of the quilt. Oh, nice. So I really like it a lot. Makes it a lot easier. Well, any difficulties that you've Came, run into on this quilt? Just that or? top on this one. Um, mm -hmm. Like I say, I, you know, when I drew it on paper, it was like, oh, it's perfect and it'll be great. <laughs> and then when I actually got to constructing it, you know, it had the little floppy thing going on, but I managed to figure out a way to fix it. So, but yeah, that was really the only trouble on this one. Well, Janet, congratulations thanks. and thanks for, we always love seeing your quilts. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you very much.